Well, good afternoon. It's Dr. Bill Williams coming to you live stream from Atlanta, Georgia. This is the Influencers Podcast, and we have a special guest today, a real good friend of mine today, Jeffrey Morlock, a founder, a fellow founder in On Passive. And I thought, what a perfect day to introduce you to Jeffrey Morlock. So welcome. How you doing, Jeffrey? Well, hello, hello, Dr. Bill. It is a pleasure, an absolute pleasure to spend some time with you. And thank you so very much. I, uh, you know, I've been following you and everything you've been doing for a long time. So let me tell you something, brother. You're, you're at the top of the heap in my book, and I appreciate you a lot. Thank you. Okay, well, thanks for that. And I'm, I'm really excited about you being on the program today because in all of On Passive, you were one of the first to join to be a member you know, four years now, and you have written the definitive ebook on on passive. So you've been locked in for a long time. I think our audience is going to very, uh, they're going to really enjoy your perspective is what I'm saying. You're a long-termer, and when you get to hear what Jeffrey has to say, you'll understand what I mean. He knows from the very beginning how this started, and he's, he's done the historical back work to create the book, the definitive book on what is on passive. So Jeffrey, give us a little bit of a, a beginning, a short story of what happened, who Ash was surrounded by, who is Ash, and what inspired him to do this and what got you to join on passive. And I know your story will really tickle some people knowing how you got in. Okay, I'm going to take that probably in little bites. Um, and I appreciate you uh, allowing me to kind of just flesh this all out because I think you're, you're absolutely right. I think it's important. Um, back in 2018, when Mr. Mufara had just gotten going with this, uh, the concept, I mean, there, there wasn't anything, anything concrete at all um about what he was doing with uh what what turned out to be in december of that year you know the go founders platform but who he surrounded himself with was friends and family and you know a little back history for mr mufara is that he's been for 25 years now he's been in uh in marketing an online marketer in particular uh he's done very very well in life and in business um i mean he's a, a family man uh, university educated with a uh, master's in uh, IT uh, and commerce, e-commerce in particular. And he got to the point where he was really disillusioned by everything that he'd seen and been, been uh, a part of with the online marketing. And he wanted to do something more and do something bigger and better, uh, something that was right. Um, uh he wanted to learn about online business in particular. So he actually went to Harvard and took some business courses for online uh, businesses. Um, there wasn't any kind of a uh, degreed uh, academic uh, path, so to speak, that he could take. So he just took some, some courses. Uh, after he did that and he came up with an idea for a marketing platform, then he talked to his friends and talked to family about it. And there were a few of them that said, wow, this is a really neat idea because the way he explained it was that he wanted to do something where it would have uh, the benefits for the people in it. And it wouldn't necessarily be for uh, somebody to build a company, so to speak. And then have the three, four, five, half dozen people at the top of the company make all the money and make all the rules and, and have all the fun. Um, so that's kind of where he started with it. Now, halfway through 2018, when he came out with that idea and his friends and family said, wow, that's that's really great. Let's 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 move forward with that. Then he got a hold of, I believe, three, at least three uh, marketing friends that he had shared the idea with them and said, look, the way we're going to do this is we're going to only allow people to join by invitation. So these three set up and started going out with invitations. And, and the original uh, the original idea for this was that 
we're going to keep it close. We're going to keep it friends and family. And if you know people that have integrity, if you know people that are ethical and want to get into an ethical business at the ground level, then share this with them and let them become what he called a founder of this of this business. Well, a few months after that took off, it, it, it really it really took off and it, it gained a lot of momentum. So uh, he started this whole thing in about June of 2018. Uh, by September 2018, we had already hit uh, two and a half, three thousand founders. Um, as you know, when businesses get going and things start to to create a little momentum, we got some some folks in that that maybe weren't as as ethical as we had hoped. In that, instead of just keeping it with friends and family. We had people that were now going out with bulk emails and they were inviting anybody and everybody. And man, let me tell you, that just whew. fast forward two or three more months. Um, I actually joined in November of 2018. And I think we had about 5,000 founders or, or from, from about three and a half to 5,000 founders at the time in there. And we hadn't even come up with a platform yet. It was still invite this trying to trying to get the whole bailiwick or the whole ball of wax uh, into something that's recognizable. So during that time, Mr. Mufara actually uh, set a, uh, a few goals. Um, they had a, I think it was a cap of like a hundred thousand dollars and they wanted to be able to launch within 90 days. And it was going to be a relatively uh, simple marketing platform. <clears throat> Excuse me. He wanted to serve anywhere between two and three hundred uh, thousand marketers with this platform over the next two or three years. So, I mean, they had something set out, but the momentum got going so fast and so hard so quickly that by the time we rolled into the new year, we were already in double digit thousands as far as the founders. And it showed no sign of, of slowing down. So he had to rethink what he was doing, kind of went back to the drawing board with friends and families and said, wow, this is a, a lot more than we ever thought that it was going to be. And we should probably start getting ahead of it, lest, lest we find ourselves in a little bit of trouble. And these are my words, uh, obviously. Um, so that's how we, we all got started. Uh, when he first started it, though, he had known some folks that were uh, over in India, he, he was a, a globetrotter, what I call a globetrotter, uh, where he'd been all over the world, where, worked with lots of big companies. But Mr. Mufara at the time knew of a company that was closing down and he contacted them. They were over in uh, Kolkata, India. And he said, hey, look, I'm starting a business and I want to take some of the employees that you're laying off and I want to bring them over. And they're like, wow, this is it's a really good idea. We hated to lay people off, but you know, we, we can't continue. So it's good that these guys will have work. So that's really where we got go founders was coming out of the four or five or three or four people that he hired in Kolkata, India. They came up with go founders as the first platform, which is the, uh, technically, I guess you could say it's the first marketing leg of on passive though. We had, we still didn't have a name by then, you know, it was, we were still trying to fumble around and get the thing started, but we had a, a good a good head of steam going. Um, about three months after that, they moved the office from Kolkata to uh, Bangalore, which at the time was, uh, I guess you could call it the Silicon Valley of, of, of India. I mean, it was up and coming, promising lots of tech heads over there, you know, uh, thriving industries and growing. So he moved into, into Bangalore. Um, several months after that, I mean, we just kept on growing, kept on growing. And that's how we ended up in Hyderabad in the big building there. So that's kind of how we all got started. And that's where it went. Now, when I came into it, uh, in 2018, it was a guy that had, had joined and he said, Hey, can you please take a look at this? And I'm like, okay. Yeah. And I kind of just precursorily looked at it and said, no. Nobody can do this. You know, this this is crazy. You know, nobody's going to build something like this and, and give it to give it away, basically. And so uh, a week later, the guy says, oh, come on here. I'm sending you some more stuff. Please go take a look at it. I did. Um, this time I, I started taking notes and I, I told him, hey, look, 
I'm going to, I'll research this. If it's not going to work, I'll tell you why it won't work. And long story short, all those notes that I took, I got to a, a dead end. <laughs> and I think that was the first time I ever saw Mr. Guevara's genius because I couldn't get any more information unless I joined. So I had to pay 95, 97 bucks to get in, you know, uh, which was the best investment I've ever made in my life. And it's not really an investment, but I do it again a hundred times over. So I got in. Uh, I wanted to see what was in the back room. I wanted to see what information was available, you know, and uh, I saw that they had already started putting some marketing materials out, making things available. That was a communication hub for the founders so that we could keep in touch with on passive and with other founders and things like that. So it worked out rather well. But the big thing that really, really made me a believer is listening to Mr. Mufara on some of the early, uh, I think the first and second webinar that he ever did. And it wasn't so much what his plan was and what he was uh, accomplishing or anything, but it was the heart. It, it was how he was going at and and what he what his vision was. That's what I saw, and I thought, "Wow, um, I, I'm in. I, I'm in with this guy. It doesn't matter what he's doing or how he's doing it, but he's in it for the right reason and he's motivated uh, by the right emotion. And he's just a compassionate man that's that's got this huge uh, burning vision. And so that's, that's how we, the whole thing got started. That's how I got in and life has been really good ever since. Well, Jeffrey, you've taken us up from 19, 2018, 2019, and I joined in the early part of 2020. So I, I can see where you came through the, the time where it was pretty much unknown, totally unknown. And when I joined, it was fuzzy, but it was known. It was called on passive by that time. Your ebook was being put together, and we were starting to learn more. And we were at 50,000 people when I joined. Okay. So you're talking at 50,000, you're talking midway through actually uh, probably third and fourth quarter of 2019. That's when we hit those kind of numbers. Uh, when we hit the first part of uh, 2020, we had just gone over 100,000, maybe. I mean, we had we hadn't hit that big, big piece of momentum yet. But the ebook it came out. Uh, I, I think it was the first quarter of 2019. I had started using that actually in December of 2018 as a marketing piece in Facebook. Uh, I had written, it was only 12 to 15 pages, but it had everything that anybody needed. And I was giving it away at just emailing it to anybody that wanted it because there was no information. Nobody could, but I had done as much as I could to put it in one place, which is kind of what I do with a lot of stuff. I get lots of stuff from different sources and try to make, make a picture out of it. So that's what happened with that. Um, that got around, and I remember Cindy Hopkins, uh, and there were some uh, two or three other leaders that uh, Mr. Mufara was dealing with, and it got their attention. And I remember Cindy Hopkins giving me a call one day, and she said, "Hey, um, we we just got a hold of this ebook. What are you going to do with it?" And I said, "Doesn't matter. You want it? It's yours. I'm giving it away." And he, he she says, "Well, let me talk to Mr. Mufara." And she talked to Mr. Mufar, and he gave me a call and said, well, what are you going to do with this ebook? It's, it's pretty neat. And I said, George, if you want it, take it. Uh, one of the things that have really impressed me um, to this day is that Mr. Mufar embraced that ebook, and he never changed not one single word. Not, not one word did he change in there. He never asked me to write it never asked me to change anything. He just took whatever I gave him and he said, I want to make it prettier because you know him. I mean, he likes fresh. He likes, he likes pretty. He likes good stuff. So he took a lot of my pictures and he turned them into, I mean, he had a media team back then, right? I mean, life was good when you got somebody that can make good pictures. So he, he took all my, most of my pictures, some of them are still in there, but he, he just he printed it up a lot, you know, but he never he never touched any of the wording or the verbiage or anything. And it ended up being between 28 and 30 pages all total. And to this day, it still has some of the original 
You remember, uh, you may not even remember, we may have gotten rid of them back when we had what we called the matrix and it was a four by and, you know, infinity deep and all the dots and whistles and by diagrams. And that was all in there. It was fully explained. Everything was explained. Uh, I remember doing the first two dozen translations by myself using Google because everybody wanted it. And then the second time around, then I got a lot of help from people and, and that's when he put it in the back office and, so the book has been instrumental for a lot of people. I mean, tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of people have used it and seen it, which I'm tickled to death over. I really, really am. But about- Translated into how many languages? Um, at last count, it was like 54, 55, 57, somewhere in there. And I, as much as I hate to say it, I, I'll go ahead and say it just for transparency because it's just the way it is. But some of the translations on that last one, when they came back from people that were doing them, I mean, Ash uses the term ugly, you know, oh, yeah, it's just ugly. Some of them were pretty ugly. And I'm like, the first editions, though, of back. course. Huh? <laughs> but they were first editions. Yep. 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 Maybe improved. Well, and and that's and that's how we roll it on passive, right? Uh, it's all about change, and it's all about staying ahead and staying, you know, ahead of the curve, so to speak. So that ebook was it was great, uh, it was wonderful. Uh, back then, uh, you know, going into the the second quarter of 2019, that's when Mr. Mufara. I remember I was sitting over, right over there on a couch, and he called, and he said, Let, "Let's talk about on passive." So I'm like. Okay, wow, great. And that part of what I used to do was anytime he called, I, I got my notebook and because he would talk 100 miles a minute. <laughs> and some of the things wouldn't really be too connected, you know? They're, he'd go from one, I mean, you know how he is. He's, he's got this contextual way of talking that brings in a lot of things and you really got to pay attention to how they all link sometimes. <laughs> but I took about four pages of notes on that particular day and it all stemmed from me saying, what is the mission statement or what is it that you want to do? What is the vision statement for on passive? And for 40 minutes, he told me all about everything. That's where our vision statement came from. The one that ends in global stimulus, you know, right? That was, I, I think, somewhere in May, June of 2019 that that came out. Uh, shortly after that, he also coined the term or the phrase AI with heart. Uh, and that one stuck in there. And he, he's never changed the vision statement ever since. So back then when things were just getting started, everything was on the fly. You know, I, I remember him calling and saying, hey, um, why don't you do some videos? And I'm like, no, nah, I don't. It took him three times to get me to start doing videos. And then he asked me for some scripts for some of the videos he wanted to do for, for on passive. Uh, he asked me to do some uh, webinars. Uh, scripts for webinars and stuff, which I did two or three of those, gave them to uh, the folks that were doing the webinars back then, uh, Scott Nelson, Cindy Hopkins, Mr. Mufara. And so they used what I wrote in the webinars and everything because I turned it into a PowerPoint. I mean, it was, for me, those are glory days. I was really having so much fun and just really enjoying Mr. Mufara and where this whole thing is going. And it's been that way for me ever since. So and I know I'm carrying on. I'm sorry. It's exciting stuff for me. Yeah, I was I was there right after all that happened, and the uh, excitement was carrying on. And I, I got personally excited about it and started to make a video of my own to market, just like you did your eBooks. And I put it out on YouTube, and Cindy Hopkins saw that and shared it with Ash. Ash called me up soon afterwards, and. Uh, Ask if I could be on the leadership council. So we had a great conversation, and uh, I was glad to be on the first leadership council that he put together with you and others. It's so about twelve of us, and it was history from that point on. But let's talk about this, Jeffrey, just for a moment. You've been in for four years. You have seen it go through the cycles of uh, promises made and time flying by till we can get to that place where we can actually deliver a product that we can use. And uh, the truth is we made products and dumped them because they weren't good enough. We made products and improved them 
we've made products over three or four times because we want them perfect before the public gets them. So what's been motivating you internally to continue to this day? Oh, it's Mr. Mufar's heart, his vision. It's the way he wants to. It's not business as usual. It's not products and profit and, and hoard all the money. I mean, the way this whole thing started and has, has fleshed out and continues to gain momentum is saying we're creating something for the benefit of humanity. We're creating something that's going to have mutual benefit for the people that are in it. And we're going to make a way for people to be more successful than they ever have been. We're going to give them the opportunity to grab as much success and to do what they want and to let their passion come to life. And we're going to be able to fund their lives so that they can go after their passion and they can help other people. Now, the thing that really got me in, in the whole start of this, uh, I used to explain it like this. If, if you think of a, a a basketball net with a with a basketball right in the middle of it, and that net is just all the way around the world. And that's how I looked at the founders. Because what Mr. Mufara says, or the, the way this thing was rolled out, is like, look, this is going to be a self-driving, self-fueling vehicle. You're going to be in the passenger seat, and it's going to allow you, because of the things that you can do through us, you're going to earn. So it, you remember Catmo? I mean, I think you did more than one video about Catmo. We're saying that on passive is going to give the people that are involved in it their time and freedom back. It's going to give them their, their well, actually, their, their freedom, which is time and money. So they're going to save a lot of time and they're going to earn money. And that combination will allow them to do whatever is in their heart. And if they've got enough abundance, if they're living where they're not worried about paying this month's rent or what happens if my the tire on my car needs to be replaced, right? And they're okay and got some set away for a rainy day. They will naturally, because this is how we're built, right? When we're not worried about us and we've got enough for us, we naturally tend to reach out and help those around us. And that's what he's saying. He's saying, look, we're going to take care of you so that you've got more than enough for you so that you can then reach out at a grassroots level to the lady across the street that has two kids and maybe her husband was, you know, maybe the husband's not there or somebody down the street that can't afford to, uh, whatever the whatever the cause, they we whoever is in here can now have extra so that we can start building and lifting humanity around us to our level at community level or city level or state or even country. And that's what our passive is about. It's about raising humanity and raising the condition of humanity, lifting humanity. Now, as I've been listening to your talk, you dropped a lot of uh, quotes from as you dropped a lot of what we have as our slogans. Uh, say a few of the words in uh, terms of what is our company motto? What do we say to the world when we are explaining something like you said Catmo? What's that mean? Gotcha. Gotcha. Well, Catmo was, uh, you know, Ash had it. And this is you got to love his art again. He had a lot of fun with this because he came out with C-A-T-M-O and he put it in the back office. And that's all he put. Drove people crazy for about three months trying to figure out what this was. He had contests and everything all about it. People were coming up with all sorts of stuff. There was one person I think that came up pretty close to it. But the CATMO is simply an acronym and it stands for saying that on passive is complete. It's automated. It is uh, got your traffic and it has it, it'll provide money for you. So it's complete automated traffic with money. MO is money. So it's CATMO. And it basically just means, look, we've got a system here that is done for you. It's going to allow you to have a complete resource at your fingertips. So no matter what you do online, you're going to have something that will allow you to earn an income through us. And so not only are you going to earn that income, but that income is going to be an automated income. It will provide for you in such a way that it will be residual and it will be perpetual. So you really won't have to worry about it. And for those folks that were worried about marketing and trying to get out and go, oh, I don't know how to do all this. Don't worry about it because part of the automation is the traffic, is the marketing. So not only 
do they give you the tools and the resources, but they'll also market them for you and put the money in your wallet. And that's where the money comes from. So that's what we're talking about. When we say Catmo, we're talking about a system that is completely done for you or done for you and will offer or uh, give you a residual income for literally generations. Now, we talked about AI with heart, and that goes beyond Catmo because it, it gives us state of the art. It gives us competitive advantage because it's built into everything we have. Explain uh, AI with heart. Well, you're absolutely right. And it goes beyond, Dr. Bill, what you even said. Because when you get into the AI with heart and you think about what he's saying, he's saying, look, we're taking the best technology in the world, the cutting edge, I mean, literally the crest of the wave that is technology. We're taking that technology and we are, in a way, hybridizing a business so that we not only have that technology, but we have compassion and we have empathy within the corporate structure, within the, the fabric of the business itself, so that not only do we have the best in technology and business sense, but we also want to do the best for the right reasons. And we're going to do what's right because it's right. And that's where the motivation is coming from. That's when you come up with that hydro, uh, hydro, hybridization. I, I see on passive as a uh, uh, truly a hybrid company that has the, the technological expertise and backbone, but it's also got human empathy and compassion so that its employees and everything that, that runs on passive is driven toward a compassionate action that helps lift humanity, like we were talking before, to provide and to, and here's another one, the correction to the corruption. Now, when we say that on passive is the correction to the corruption, we're not talking about governments or, or you know, something like that. We're talking about all of the things in marketing, the digital arena, the online, the internet, in business in particular, that has to do with selfish driven, self motivated processes that hoard income and keep people down. On passive is not about that. We're about lifting people up, we're about lifting humanity and spreading the wealth. And I've said more than once that the way that this whole thing works, I mean, when you have already 1.5 million brand ambassadors or founders by any other name spread throughout the world. I mean, think about that. That's about one founder every 150 square miles. That is a net of people that are going to be living in abundance and being able to share in their own communities, right? Doing what's right because it's right. Now I've got more than what I need. I'm going to reach out and I'm going to start lifting my community up or, or what, and that's a, that's a, a net of benevolently founded, benevolently minded people throughout the world. Can you imagine the impact that will have? And when you have 2 million, a half a billion people all subscribing to on passive products and all that money is going into on passive corporate, it's being funneled right back down through. I mean, there's only it. Something else Mr. Mufari has said on passive is not greedy when it comes to profit. He has already said, we're going to take a, a per percentage of the money we make and it's going to go into keeping the lights on. We got to pay the bills, right? It's also going to go into R and D because we got to stay on top and we got to be number one. It's also going to be funneled into some profit sharing for the founders. Cause those are the guys that started when we were nothing. And they're the ones that took all the heat. We're also going to be paying these guys real well that are members and are subscribing and earning because we want everybody to be in abundance and whatever is left goes right back into the, into the company. And can you imagine all that money coming, filtering down through out through all the members Talk about massive decentralization of wealth. Buddy, that's it. We're changing the world. And, and I haven't even started talking about the technologies or anything yet. Jeffrey, the, the next one I want you to talk about will lead us into the three success secrets. This one is see you at the top. <laughs> oh, we're going to get a lot of mileage out of that one. Back in March of 2022, Mr. Mufar came out. This was about the time that he was going, to, he was traveling from Florida up to New York 
and he he went <laughs> kind of the long way around, and he went up through Tennessee. And I remember he was talking with uh, Key Wendell. And Key had said, oh, if you're going past through Charlotte, you really need to go see this place here. And Ash was talking about mountains. And that's when he came up with what he said was, see you at the top where your ears will pop. Key and I, I remember talking to him. We, we kind of laughed thinking, oh, he's, he's going up the mountains and that's where your ears pop, you know. And okay, yeah, that makes sense. But we didn't know what the top was. Well, when he finally made it to Boston in March of 2022, and we had that, you were there, a couple of dozen founders, and had the top event. Well, the top turned out to be, blew our minds, absolutely blew us out of the water. When we started our branding in Dubai, and they had purchased the top floor of the tallest building in the world, the Burj Khalifa. And when I say the, the top floor, I'm, uh, let me explain that it's not really the top floor. There are floors above it. However, directly above it are personal suites, mechanical rooms, and um, antennas and microwaves and stuff like that. So the top floor, the 152nd floor that we purchased the whole floor of that building, the tallest building in the world, that blew your mind, right? That is the tallest office suite or office floor in the world. So we literally, our passing literally has the highest office in the world. That was the top. And what he meant was when you go up that building, it's so tall that by the time you get up, your ears pop like four times before you get to the top. And when you're looking out the window, he says, you're looking down on airplanes. He said, that's how tall that building is. I'm like, man. And incidentally, they also bought the 134th floor, which uh, as far as I know, is it's an executive suite uh, innovation lab kind of that's where a lot of really neat stuff goes on so we own two floors of that building so when you talk about see you at the top where your eels will pop that was the initial top and that was his start of letting us all know we're always going to be at the top we're going to strive for the top we're looking for the top we're going to start at the top and we'll always be at the top so life is good at the top well, that's pretty much it. The uh, see you at the top story is one that put us on the map in Dubai. It was the first time that we knew that we were going to be a centralized mainstay in the uh, Middle East. So uh, part of our success secrets now start to be seen. Uh, to talk about the, the marketing genius of being in Dubai and our marketing success in Dubai. Wow. Well, you know, the, the, the whole marketing thing, it really started in Hyderabad. That's, I mean, that, but you're right. The, uh, the evidence for the world view of our branding came out of Dubai and that was by design. And part of the, part of the genius that you see here is Dubai is the technical, excuse me, technological place to be on the planet. They, they, I mean, they've got a five-year technology plan, and they want to be the most technologically advanced city place in the world, and they got a plan to get there. Same thing with innovation. They got a five-year innovation plan, and I'm telling you, anybody that is anybody goes there, and it is truly, Dubai is truly, truly an international city. It's only got like 5% of its inhabitants are from there. The rest of it is from everywhere in the world. Now, interestingly enough, Dubai is also located so that you can get just about anywhere that is anywhere at all in the world from there and to there in record time. Uh, eight, eight hours, you can get just about anywhere in the world. Now, having said all that, what Mr. Mufara did, first of all, in getting there, can you imagine the time he must have? I mean, we've got a 10-year contract with a visa for the. They only give out three years. I mean, even if you were born there, you still got to have a, a three-year visa. And you got to, I think it's three years. And you got to keep getting it renewed. You can't really be a full-time citizen and just always belong there. So when on passive went to them, they were so impressed that they gave us a 10-year visa. So we're in there for 10 years. When you couple that with the idea that we also got into the Burj Khalifa and not only are, did we not rent a space there, we bought two of the floors. 
I mean, that has got to tell you something. Starting there, buying the two floors, and then from there, doing the marketing inside of the Burj Khalifa with the birth, with the mall. I mean, that mall itself, how many hundreds of thousands a day people are in there? I mean, it's got world world class aquariums. I mean, it's got swimming. It, it's it'll blow your mind. So now he's got these 15, 20, 30 foot screens, these these columns, everything, all digital, all saying on passive, on passive, on passive, 24-7 inside the Burj. As if that wasn't good enough, the next step he did was took it out to the streets. So you couldn't go anywhere in Dubai without seeing on passive on every corner, on every doggone billboard there was, right? Well, if you want your mind blown, think of on passive station, which is now station 29 in the Dubai Rail Transit Authority, the RTA. That is one of the most technologically advanced rail systems in the world. And we've got a 10-year renamed contract for the uh, 29th station there, what was called station 29, is now on passive station. So think of you know, the, the, the famous station in, in Paris or Grand Central in New York. On passive station is now being seen and it runs through, I, I think at last count, it was probably close to 800,000 people a day. And it's not just a station with a little name. That is... I it happens mean, to be right behind you too, doesn't it? That, yeah. Yeah, that, that wrap that you're looking at behind me there is the biggest wrap on, on, on Sheikh Saeed Road which is the main, yeah, it's it's crazy. It is crazy. It blew my mind when 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 I realized we we got our own train station named after us, and everything that goes with that. You can't go past. You can't go down the highway without seeing in English and Arabic on past the station with arrows on the road signs, all the columnades leading up to and under bridges, all with on passive logos all over them. You can't get into there without seeing 30 foot digital signs on passive. You can't go in without hearing next stop on passive station. <laughs> uh, it's great. It's great. And the beauty yeah, of it is- We've we learned a lot about the history. We've learned a lot about the uh, slogans and some of the marketing that's going on, but let's talk about why somebody should actually buy from on passive. Why should they become a, a client, a customer? No, that's that's fair enough. That's also a no brainer. On passive has got right now, if we just take one portion, okay, we'll just take, we'll just talk about the digital ecosystem that we've got, which is a digital marketing platform with Everything you could think of that you would need for anybody that wants to do anything online. In other words, if you do anything online, we've got a reason that you want to come to us. And that reason, whatever you pick, whether it's one thing or all 50 or 60 or however many they've got, it is going to be superior to what is currently out there. It is also going to be less expensive. And when you when you, you put those two together and you start using other things, everything we've got is integrated so that they flawlessly, seamlessly work with everything else we've got. So everything that you need for anything you want to do for your success, you can now find all under, under one roof. And these products are much better than anything out there. They were built from scratch. We own them. We wrote the coding for them. Right, right along with even the AI, they are all AI driven. And that goes back to the cat bowl saying automated. So every one of these are all automated for you and they will sync together for whatever you want to do, which means if you're looking to send emails or if you want to do webinars, or if you want to teach classes, or if you just want to do graphics or whatever it is, you want to teach from home, whatever you want to do, we've got something that is far better than anything out there now that you can use to follow your own passion. Secondarily, if you choose to, there could be an opportunity for you to use those very products that you use to earn an income, which will also be automated for you. So 
I mean, it's really a no-brainer. And that's just the digital ecosystem. We haven't even talked about other stuff that's that's out there and coming. So can we crunch numbers? Yeah, sure. Can, can we do graphic design? Sure. Can we build, build websites? Yep. Can we manage HR? Absolutely. We got we everything you just mentioned. We have software products, resources, tools that are better, faster, sweeter, and less expensive and totally integrated than anything you've got in anywhere else in the world. Can we do video conferencing? Are you kidding me? <laughs> we have a flagship product called O Connect that's just about ready to hit the streets. Now it's, it's a few weeks out, I would imagine. I mean, we, we've got the engine complete, and we're, we're, we're ramping up on the bells and whistles, and so we're going through a series of sessions with O-Connect, uh, which we are using now for our own platforms, by the way. For a long time, everybody's like, well, if you've got this platform, why are you using the other people? I'm like, well, because it's not really ready for us to use. But now it is. We've used it, I think, three times. We'll use it again this week. I think we uh, maxed out last week. Uh, probably 35, 36,000 people on it once. Beautiful. No clicks, no buzzes, no quirks, no nothing. It was absolutely wonderful. And as we go forward with these sessions for the for the ambassadors and we have these uh, corporate webinars, it's just we're, we're going to unload more features and show more buttons and the functionality, and they're going to keep ramping it up, ramping it up so that we can stabilize it because that too, along with everything else that OnPassive has, we have what we call an unlimited theme. So any product that we have does not have caps on it. So this is to say, in answering your question, our particular web conferencing platform has no limits. So for whatever price that you're paying for that per month, it doesn't matter if you got five, 55,000 or 100,000 people, it's still the same price for you. So what about... Um Marketing media, TV. We got some things coming up in that area too. Absolutely, we do. As a matter of fact, um, when we start, when I when I was talking a little bit ago, and I said, "Well, let's look at the digital, the ecosystem, these other things." Now that you're starting to get into, I mean, we've got uh, manufacturing facilities on the rise, and and physical products that'll be coming out. We've got our own innovation labs and data centers coming out, coming up. Uh, we're actually in one data center. I have more than one innovation lab working. Uh, we've also got, like you said, we've got uh, in the in, in the future, can't say a lot about it, but yeah, on passive TV with, with stations and uh, marketing and you name it. I, let's put it this way. There is not a sector on the planet, Dr. Bill, that on passive will not be able to positively affect. Well, I think that's enough reason for somebody to buy into the concept and, and become uh, a, a customer. Who's our ideal client? Talk about that for a second. Anybody that does anything on the internet. I mean, think about it. How many this. people would that be? If, if you've got a business, then we've got something that will save you time and money and make you more successful. So we're going to add to your success. If you've got no business and you want an income, we've got something that not only can you use for whatever you want to use it for, but we've got a way that that, that can turn around and now provide an income for you that is done for you. It's automatic. It gives you all the marketing, everything, and dumps the money in the wallet for and, and gives you the wallet too. So anybody that does anything, and right now, so it's what's always been promised as the business in a box. And this is actually a real business that is done for you in a box. Yeah, but it's a huge box. It's a big box. Let's talk about uh, how do we find these uh, clients, these customers? What's the system that's going to introduce people to on passive? Well, first and foremost, it was the GoFounders platform, um, the foundership or the founder base, as we used to call it, which I think that term is is gone by the wayside. And we're now being called brand ambassadors, which I think is uh, probably much more appropriate. 
in that we're not really founders in the true sense of, of that word. If you trace that back with the lineage uh, that uh, accounts for business and business uh, standards. Um, when you've got this many people going out with, with emails and YouTubes and all sorts of stuff, I mean, the world's going to know who we are. But as far as marketing on passive outside of what the founders are doing, you got to remember, Mr. Mufar is Bailey. I mean, that that's his wheelhouse, marketing. He is a marketer, and he has got a marketing platform that is second to none, and it will blanket the, the earth. And right now, uh, that, that marketing that we're expecting is being preceded by the branding that's occurring in Dubai and as a result throughout the world. I mean, I don't know if you've seen tens of thousands of people taking pictures of, of the Burj Khalifa or, you know, going to wherever they go through the train systems into all points in the world. But the world knows now who we are and his marketing tentacles and marketing arms. They've got lots and lots of ways that they've already got in motion for this, this marketing to take place. It, it hasn't kicked off yet, but it will. And when it does, Unless you're living under a rock in the Mojave Desert somewhere, you're going to hear about us and you're going to know who we are. Talk about the viral nature of what's planned. Well, I, I think that when you when you talk about something going viral, um, anything that goes viral has got has got one thing in common with everything, and that is there's passion and excitement behind it, and somebody loves the fact that something is being put out. Now, when it comes to on passive and you have got a history like we've got where people can now look back and say, wow, I remember back in 2018 when everybody said, you're crazy and this is a scam. I remember in 2019 when there were lots of changes and more momentum and lots of promises and we're saying, no, nobody can do this. And how that whole history has changed and how we are now able to look back and go, wow, yes, from the humble beginnings, right, uh, that, that we had with a $100,000 cap wanting to launch in 90 days. How silly was okay. that compared to where we are now? And then when you look at where we are right now, there's a history that can be counted on. And they can now say, wow, okay, I need to take a closer look at this. And we've got anything and everything that anybody needs. And please forgive me, but I forgot what the question was. <laughs> and as we uh, move forward and, and we can share with people how excited we are, and we will have the ability to, to also give away free trials. And there are many free products that people can use. And so that's going to spur people to go ahead and look at it and once they look at it, what's going to happen? Well, that's already happening. As you know, if you go to onpassive.com, there are some uh, freebies, like you're saying, you know, the, the O-Mail, uh, O-Connect. I mean, not O-Connect, uh, O-Net. Um, O-Trim. The, yeah, these, these O-Trim. These freebies, you can take and you can test drive them. Now, Right now, they're not the full-blown product, but you can get in there and you can download them and you can use them. The email program, I mean, I use it. It's not, they're not going to give you everything right now, but it's functional. Now, the thing is, when you do get in there and you download one of these and start using it, then you're also going to have the option to opt into all, and you'll, you'll get that option before the public does. That you'll have the op you'll be able to opt into a lot of other things and many more things. You don't have to buy anything if you don't want to, but it'll all be there for you, and you'll be able to test it all out at some point or another. Now, there's some things they're never going to charge for. You know, they're just not. There's lots of free stuff there, and the and the good quality free stuff that is better than anything out there. Period. One of those is Obless. Talk about Obless for a second. Now, Obless, Obless is a – in looking at Obless, you've, you've got to understand you're also looking at the heart of Ash Mufar. Now, Obless is on Passive's uh, crowdfunding platform.
but it's not crowdfunding as usual. Crowdfunding for on passive is going to be handled by on passive. I mean, so they're going to make sure that it's first and foremost, anything that comes into that crowdfunding is legitimate and it's there for the right reasons, you know, being properly motivated and that everything is as it's purporting to be. Now, secondarily, there is no cost at all for this program to anybody outside of corporate structure. I mean, on passive pays for it all. And this means everything about it because it doesn't take a single dime. It takes no money from any money coming into it. 100% of everything coming into that platform goes to the cause that the platform was established for. You see what I'm saying? So it's costing them to run this, but it's just another free service that they're going to be running along with many other ones. But that one is, man, when you start putting a hundred percent and you know that the, the, uh, the causes are legitimate and they're being handled correctly and you can see the positive effects of that. Like you said, that's going to go viral. And not only do we support charities and, uh, mission projects, but we also support startups for humanitarian benefit. And not only that, but they're culturally expressive. I mean, if you think about it, On Passive has already started getting involved with, with local communities and local governments and helping them out. They're already going and making their presence known via charitable uh, contributions and actions and stuff like that all over the world. I mean, you think about this, we've already got offices on multiple country, uh, continents and we have, uh, uh, what, 210 countries where we've got founders or ambassadors in already? Wow. I mean, we've got quite the presence and we haven't even launched to the public yet. Jeffrey, share with everyone how Al Passive will deliver one one uh, example of a five-star client experience. So you're in the uh, ecosystem, you're, you're milling around. What's the one thing that kind of stands out to you about why this is such a great experience to have everything, maybe one single sign-on, maybe all the integration? Gotcha. If you've got somebody that's going to see on passive for the first time, maybe it's a company owner, right? And he's like, just fuddling around one day and he runs across and says, Oh, what's this? And he logs on to on passive. First thing he's going to see is state of the art technology and digitals and graphics that are easy, fresh, easy to use, simple. When he joins that on passive. Yeah. You got a single sign on. Uh, of course, they, they're going to take a little bit of information from you. Oh, that's another thing, by the way. They don't keep or sell any personal information at all, period. Zilch, not a none. So <laughs> take that, Facebook. Um, but when you log on to there through a single sign-on, you now have access to everything in the entire ecosystem. So if you have, I mean, no matter where you're going, you've got direct access to it, and everything that you use for your business is integrated and automated through the AI with everything else. So it's seamless. So it, it's like, the, it's just one huge program. So if you want to look at replacing, uh, maybe you've got programs that do your payroll and your staff, or maybe your logistics, we've got one 10 times better than something out there that works with everything else we've got. So now you don't have to worry, gee, if I get this program, is it going to run with this program? I mean, I had a daughter tell, tell me this morning, gee, I'm, I'm starting a new place near Raleigh and they've got a different, they had a, she works for a chiropractor and she says, but their, their system is different because their program, it wouldn't, it wouldn't work with the program I currently use. So I got to learn a new program with on passive. You won't have to worry about that. You, you're going to get whatever pro they all work together and they're made to work together and they're automated and they're really, really smart. They're really sophisticated. I mean, the contact list, for instance, will be integrated between all the different programs so you don't have to have different uh, databases. Absolutely. You're right. That's absolutely right. Everything will have a central database for, for whatever you're doing. 
And so that, and, and it goes through. So when you make one change in one part of that ecosystem for your company or whatever, whoo, it goes right through and makes changes through the entire system. So you're not searching and trying to, trying to say, okay, I changed this over here. So now I got to change. It does it for you. It's going to be so smooth. Oh, that's like, what what's Ash say? Kissing marshmallows. <laughs> we may have to invent a six star experience i don't think anybody else it's going to be called the on passive level experience well and i yep i came up with on passive class about three years ago i said we now have uh, we aren't just world class we are on passive class that's the new class so jeffrey um why is being impactful important to on passive uh because humanity matters because the world is experiencing, we're going through a chaotic period right now where if you look at the, the, the major movements of society, if you look at uh, academics, if, if you look at uh, politics, or if you look at industry, or if you look at finance, if you look at anything, we're going through a transitional period, uh, even in government, where everything is going from central power to a decentralization and that is all part and parcel with a raising of humanity what i call raising human consciousness toward a benevolent or uh, uh less we're looking more at serving others right than we are at serving ourselves and therefore our consciousness is rising uh, we all want to be more benevolent. We want to we want to attain toward that unconditional love, which is God, right? I mean, that's part of our evolution as humanity. With with on passive, this is giving us all a head start, so to speak, because it's taking the impetus away from us to try to go out and figure out how to make us okay. It's going to help us become abundant. It's going to help us to have enough so that we can now stop thinking so much about our needs. And start focusing on the needs of others. And that's the heart of on passive. That is the AI with heart that makes the hybrid that is a conscious business that is on passive. We're doing it because humanity matters. And we are going through a global economic change right now. The ebook, the paradigm shift that is on passive. And we are on the crest of that wave, that paradigm shift, which is global and is economically global. And it is also a shift in humanity. So, I mean, it's a great time to be alive, and it's a great time for us to be where we are. On passive is where you want to be. Ash has often talked about he's not interested in amassing more income, more money for him or his family. He's, he's really got ulterior motives, and they're altruistic motives. Uh, speak to what his vision is long term for on passive. Well, he's got a vision that's taking us generations out. He's got a vision that is having on passive to create and to give to humanity technologies and resources that will impact us for hundreds of years. He's got a vision for on passive that says, mark my words, there will be a day in the future when you look back and you say, this is when on passive came on the scene and this is life after on passive arrives. That's the long term. I mean, he is not short term vision about anything. And we have often said that we will be impacting for generations. And that's why you're going to be able to leave on passive as a legacy, as something that you have started and that you pass on to your kids. And like you have done, you're going to create a dynasty within your own lineage because of the involvement you've got with this particular company, which is reaching out in so many areas and so many sectors. I mean, it's not just business as usual. It's not just industry, but we're getting into everything, everything, education, medicine, you name it, we're getting into it. And so this is such a long-term effect and we will have such a positive effect on humanity, on the global changes economically over the next several years and into the next generations. We will be, on passive is going to be the biggest company with the greatest impact on earth in history. And it's just, that's just the way it is. That's where it's going. And that's, that's what I know. His vision is, is, is huge. And it's, it's part, it's time for it. It's time for it. It's where you want to be. 
I couldn't agree with you more. And uh, when, we, when we go into every sector and become a major player in every sector, uh, it's a big vision. But, you know, if you, you've got the will, there is a way. How can people access and talk about uh, the fact that you have to come through a founder to get to on passive? Talk about how that's going to happen and where people can find these uh, brand ambassadors. How do they get in and become a customer, become a reseller, become part of the team? Well, in, uh, I think it was 2021 or one of those years, I think they kind of all melt together. <clears throat> we closed the door to the founder position. It used to be that once you came in and you were a founder, it had to be through an invite from another founder. And that door was shut. Of course, we, <laughs> we, uh, we threatened to shut it for many, many months before we finally did because Mr. Mufar was like, give a few more the chance, give a few more the chance. And finally he just said, it's done. So we couldn't take any more, any more founders at all. Um, now the opportunity is to come in as a, a member, which isn't as good as a founder, but hey, it's okay. It's still got a lot of great perks, and you could you you can make a uh, you know a lot of success from it, uh, to be sure. But right now, I mean, anybody that wants to go to onpassive.com can go to onpassive.com. They can log in, they can register, and once they're in, they're, they're kind of in. Now, I'm going to be a little. I'm going to try to be a little careful how I say this that. People coming in, they're going to be simply because of how the financial or how the uh, how the come the, the comp plan works. They got to be put somewhere. I mean, who knows where? Or I, as a matter of fact, the, the the comp plan has never been made public. It never will be made public. It is absolutely proprietary and held close to the vest. It's something that's never, ever, ever been done before. So I can't even comment about how it's going to work or anything like that. But I do know that if you go to onpassive.com, you can log in, you can register, you can start using some of the free products even before we open publicly. And that is going to get you in the gate, so to speak. And the earlier you get in, the better it's going to be long term for you. And that's somehow built into the thread of everything that's going on. Does that answer the question? <laughs> Well, it, it does. You know, it's it's not going to be. It's by invitation only. Still, that's the point. Right, right, right. You just don't walk in the door and say, "I I want to be a member." You've got to be uh, accessing the portals and things like that that are set up, and that's the key. So everybody needs to pay attention to who's talking about it because that's the only way you can get in. Yeah. So that's the part of. Uh, Jeffrey, talk about your experience on the show today. How do you have you had a good time? Oh, man, yeah. This, this, I was so excited when you gave me a call. I'm like, yeah, let's do this. This is, I mean, I get jazzed up, you know, and I, I wish sometimes I had a, a more le low key demeanor, you know. I wish I didn't just, but there's so many wonderful things happening. It truly is a great time to be alive in this world. And on passive is making it just that much better, especially for me, especially for me, because I've got a mind that goes all over the place. And I see how on passive fits in to the globality of humanity and what we're doing, how it fits in with everything and how it's underlying, how it's foundational, how its core philosophies are in keeping with the evolution of humanity and with our own consciousness and the rising of that. So, you know, if you're not seeing that, and if you don't understand the heart that is in on passive, then you don't understand on passive. That's this is beautiful. Are you kidding? You call me up here, and for I don't know how long we've been on, but I'm sure it's been a minute, and we can keep right on going because it is exciting. This is some good, good stuff. There is nothing bad about anything at all, and it'll all come out. It'll all be. One day they're going to look back. Some some of these people that used to really ride our tails and, and call us all sorts of things. I really hope that they've got a mindset that says, you know what? I really wasn't at, uh, I really was a jerk back then. And I, you know what? But 
I'm on. I do have a recipe book for crow. Yes. Yeah. We are going to publish the recipe book for crow. Yeah. Hey, Jeffrey, I'm going to give you the final word. And I want you to look out at the audience and I want you to talk to them about why it's important that they pay attention to the next 30 days. And what's going to most likely happen in 30 days that could change their life? Um, <clears throat> I think that I would, I would certainly urge if you're not involved with on passive, uh, go to onpassive.com or, or just do a, a search, you know, an internet search, find a founder, you know, go to a link, whatever link it is, it doesn't really matter. You know, as long as you're on the board, you're good. It doesn't matter where you are on the board, just get on the board. So that's the first thing. But in the next few weeks, what we're going to be seeing is more sessions with, with O-Connect. Uh, we're going to have more webinars with O-Connect. And we're finalizing that. And then that is going to be added to the ecosystem. So that's coming up. We're going to have, in particular, that I think that, that you folks that are interested in, we're going to have two paid products. One of those, the first paid products out of the door is going to be uh, the O Connect at the web conferencing, that'll blow your mind. I mean, that that would blow your mind. If we had no other product but that one, we could stop and call it a day. But I'm telling you, we're a thousand times better. The second, the second one is O Tracker. Now, without getting into it, uh, it's an IP and geo tracker. I mean, it's it is a creme de la creme program. Uh, it, it will it, it'll smoke Google uh, uh, Analytics right out of the gate. But those will be the first two products probably in the next several weeks that will be coming out. They will be the first paid products, paid products. And, and there's got to be probably 30, 40 of them. So, I mean, those are the two things right off the bat. O-Connect and O-Tracker will be paid products. But, but even more than that, you're going to see more robust free products that you can sign up with on passive you can register it won't cost you a dime and you'll see how good these things are from the inside out and these aren't even the full-blown products yet so also look at what's going on in dubai and look at look at the marketing when you start seeing things starting to happen in, in dubai it's getting close is that what you're referring to doctor yeah i just want people to get a sense that the, the crescendo is building that the First top, the second top, the third top. We're on the fifth top right now. And the next top will come next week. Yep. Yep. And we're going to have another one. We don't know what it is, but there's going to be another top, which means, I mean, you think about all these tops, right? We had them, the, the the branding in the in Dubai, and then you had uh, the, the the floors, the first top, everything since then, culminating yeah. in the, and the, the uh, World Cup in Doha. The, yep, the World Cup uh, sponsored, uh, culminating in, in on Passive Station, and now we've got another top that's coming. I mean, that would put us on the map. All you got to do is Google on Passive Station, and Google will show you. I mean, you see pictures. There's no denying it. But we got another top coming up. So there's going to be another global webinar, I'm sure, that will be live streamed. So keep an eye out for that too. Yeah. Well. The story on passive is is um, it's large, massive, you know, massive on passive. That kind of has been a slogan. Um, yeah, there's, there's no end to the innovations that are coming along, and there's a strong leadership team. We didn't get to talk about the leadership teams today, but there's a huge uh, benefit to being with a team that's uh, multinational multicultural and uh, egalitarian, everybody's equal. So Jeffrey, this has been a great hour and five minutes. So you've done a whale of a job explaining on passive to our audience. This is the first time we've talked about on passive on the influencers podcast. And you're one of the top influencers in all of uh, on passive. So it was appropriate for you to be the one. So I thank you. And uh, I'm looking forward to a uh, update in a few weeks. We'll do another influencers podcast once we have launched the uh, physical 
or not the physical, but the digital paint products, because that's going to be the, the watershed event. Yeah, it will. Absolutely. Event. You bet. So you guys, you guys stay tuned. And uh, this is uh, my friend Jeffrey Morlock and Bill Williams signing off from the Influencers Podcast live stream from Atlanta, Georgia. Good day.